Welcome back guys, Sly back in here. So I was reading through some Warhammer lore, as you do, and I came across the story of the Giants. Um, what little there is, there's a grand total of six paragraphs, but I don't know, it was kind of a sad story. It's like, really? That's like where they came from and that's what happened to them? And like, this is where they are now. Like, everybody knows where they are now. They're giant killing machines, basically. Um, idiots, if you would. But um, that's not what they originally were. So originally they were actually part of a civilization called the Sky Titans. And the Sky Titans were twice as big as giants are today and highly intelligent. Which, you know, if you compare to today's giants, uh, obviously they're still massive, but obviously if you think they're twice as big as that, Jesus. And dumb as all rocks nowadays, but they weren't always like that. So what happened? Actually, before we go into that, let's take a step back a wee bit. So they ruled in an area called the Mountains of Morn. Um, they pretty much kept to themselves. They were kind. They were caring. They had nothing to do with the lands below them, so men, dwarves, etc. They had nothing to do with them. They basically kept themselves in the Sky Fortress, um, which is surrounded by a sea of clouds in the description. So to me, kind of think like... Is it like Mount Olympus, you know, the old ancient Greek gods or wherever they came from, up in the sky, surrounded by clouds, etc, etc. That's kind of the picture that I'm getting in my head. There's not too much description, but that's kind of where I'm leaning. The only time they ever left their fortress was when they were tending to their flock of mammoths. So that should give you a rough idea of how big these guys are, or guys were, I should say. So yeah, so what happened? So the ogres came along, right? Now the ogres had just lost a large portion of their population to the Great Moor, which an ogre society is actually a god, but in this case is actually turned violent and killed a lot of them, um, taken over their homeland. So they've been basically kicked out of their homeland by their own god, as it was. And the ogres have come along and they're trying to find a new place to live, right? So they encounter the Sky Titans. And this obviously leads to war, because the ogres are ogres, and... Sky Titans are massive beings, obviously, not prepared to give up their homeland to ogres. And this started what was called the War of Heavens. So again, that kind of leads me back to, you know, this is Mount Olympus type of situation, War of Heavens. Now the Sky Titans had one big flaw, that was they were not united. They didn't need to be united, did they? Gigantic men-like creatures that, who's going to challenge them? Nobody. Even though the ogres had lost a large portion of their population, they still had heaps of them left compared to the Sky Titans. So the example they give is think of a pack of wolves attacking a bear. That's the example they give. So that's kind of what happened with the ogres. The just numbers were just too great um, for the Sky Titans to deal with. And they overran them. They whatever ogres, um, whatever Sky Titans, sorry, were left. Um, they turned into slaves, treated them so bad, a few, a few got away, a very few got away, and that's important because what happened was they obviously started to inbreed because that was all that was left, right? So it's not like you can just sleep with anybody of your that size, you've got to sleep with somebody of your own race and equal size. So over the centuries, it's all inbred, the whole population is now inbred, over the centuries, they obviously got smaller, their intellect dropped a lot to the point that we're now where we are now, where they're dumb as rocks, like I said before. So yeah, so they've kind of devolved into what we have now, which is just mindless killing machines whose only purpose in the world is to eat things and destroy other things. And of course, like the Greenskins being the Greenskins, they um, covet and respect power and brute force above all else so they, they actually really like the giants because they have a lot of respect for them because of those um, traits that they now have but I don't know I just it just seemed like really really sad that you know they've come from this I'm going to say godlike race and just over the centuries they've just been whittled down to basically nothing you know now if you're trying to find the mountains of moor on the map you won't be able to find it. It is now called the Ogre Kingdoms and it is in the eastern top half of the world, so of the world map. So we have to find it up in the top right hand corner <laughs> if you're looking at a map. So yeah, I don't know, just really interesting story. Unfortunately there's not a lot of lore surrounding them which is quite disappointing actually. Um, 
I would be quite interested to know a lot more, especially about the Sky Titans, they sound like a really interesting race. So yeah, I mean, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, but um, like when I came across it, it was like, damn, not what I was expecting at all. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.